Hey guys, uh, we're here at the PCB show again. Still, my name is Thumper with Blue Collar Builders. I was actually recommended to come over to the Demand booth uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, talk to the owner and CEO Larry Akers. Uh, the issue, there's a lot of choices for you out there, but, but of those choices, what is affordable that you can turn to money savings and put back into your pocket right now? So let me introduce uh, Larry Akers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, first of all, water and energy is a major issue in California. We all know that right. because we're running out of it. Right. How many of you are actually waiting a long time for hot water? Raise your hand. I think most of you do. That water represents energy as well as water loss, and the water you run down the drain waiting for hot water goes into your sewer, so that's another extra cost. That sewer is a processing right. that you have to go through. And by the way, every 10 gallons of water that you run through your water heater is actually a kilowatt hour. And a okay. kilowatt hour represents a pound and a half of carbon dioxide. So now you got all these issues. We've developed a product that's been in the market since 1992 that saves both water and energy, stops the pollution problem with sewage, you know, sewage going into your sewer system. We also reduce the the green, the the H, uh, the H2O factor. Right. We reduce that. Uh, and how do we do that? And this can be retrofitted virtually on any home or anybody's got a water heater. So this isn't a, just new construction. Not new construction. Although one of the reasons we're here at the Builder Show. It's because we have a national builder program that right. we worked with uh, D.R. Horton and uh, Lennar and all of the big builders were here right. that we work with because it's going on all the new construction because they recognize savings of the energy and right. water factors. Right. But you guys out there that already have a home, okay, that's good if I want to go spend another million dollars for a house, but what do I do? And the answer is we've solved that problem. We started this as a retrofit product, and it is continual retrofit. And here's how it works. This is a residential? Residential. This is your home. Okay. Maybe a little bit different layout, but basically what we've done is you'll put an electronic control pumping system called an ACT demand control at the last fixture from your water heater. In this case, the water heater is in the basement, which we don't have many of in California, but we're using this as an example. So what happens, you have your hot water line going out, and it goes by several fixtures, and it ends up either in your master bathroom or your kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Why do I want to wait three minutes for hot water in that room? I don't. It's very costly and expensive for me. This pump system goes between those two fixtures, meaning the hot and cold water line, at the furthest fixture. Now I'm going to have you pan over here for a second. What you see here is an example of what I'm talking about. This would be the hot water side, fixtures above here. This is your cold water side. So let me stop you for a second. You only need one of these per application. You, and depending on a retrofit in a home, you could use more. If your water heater is more in the center of the house, then you've got runs going both directions. Okay. Okay. You don't have a dedicated return line, you just got cold and hot water okay. line. Typically in, in California, and I think this is where this goes mostly, right. the houses are built where you'd probably only need one, okay. depending on the home. But it's easy to determine whether you want, you know, need one more than one or not. But this would go either under your kitchen or your master bathroom, whatever that furthest fixture is. Okay. That is your hot water side. We supply these parts, okay? okay? All you're doing is pulling off a angle stop you're connecting our connection, you're adding the plumbing system, you will need a plug to plug it in, and it's only a .75 amp, so it doesn't draw any power, but you do need an electrical 110 outlet to do it. Once that is plugged in, you've now created a cross connection to be able to supply hot water from your water heater to the back part of your house. Once you activate this, and this can be activated by a button, that you can have at your sink, similar to this. And we do make this an LED lights now, so it lights up when, when your pump goes on. Or you can use motion sensors, that's actually a motion sensor. Mm -hmm. Or you can use wireless remotes, so you can operate this from anywhere in your home. Okay. You can be laying in bed and hit that, and it'll actually turn that pump on 
What it's doing, it's going to be bringing the hot water from the water heater to the farthest part of your home. Now I'm going to scan back over here a second. How that works is your hot water line is full of cold water. Instead of running that water down the drain, that cold water now is being converted back into the cold water side, going back into the water heater as the hot water reaches that point. Now the next question is, do I want my hot water and my cold water side? The answer is no, that's not going to work for me. So what we do is we have a thermo sensor in the pump and electronics. I'm going to have you scan back over here for a second. This is an electronic control board. <coughs> okay. That actually operates off of the thermo sensor that is in the back of this pump. Mm -hmm. That thermal sensor, which is back here, knows what the water temperature is in my house. Meaning my cold and hot water, when it's set, it becomes one temperature. It's called ambient temperature. That ambient temperature is when it means when you turn your cold water on, it's cold. When you turn your hot water on, it's also cold. That automatically knows what that temperature is. Why? Because it has to register that to know when to shut off. When that pump goes on and that hot water comes to this point where the pump is, that now picks up a change of temperature, not a set temperature. So let's say my temperature was 60 degrees in my line, my hot cold water line. That will change at about a 6 to 7 degree temperature difference, meaning it shuts off at 66 or 67 degrees. Mm -hmm. Why does it do that? Because Within two feet, I have 120 degree temperatures sitting there ready to use. Mm. When I turn my cold water light on, temperature hasn't changed. Right. The beauty of this is that you've got to get the water there hotter and quicker than you've ever done before without running any water down the drain. That represents seven to 10,000 gallons of water a year on an average per home. Per home. That represents about 3,000 kilowatt hours. That represents that water not going into the sewage system. This will have a payback in about two years. The minute you put that in, you are going to start having an immediate payback because the cost of operating that system is less than a dollar a year. Wow. Because it only works when you want hot water. Right. So the amount of time that works is about seven to 10 minutes a day. Because right. it only takes seconds to move hot water quickly through your system. So, is it affordable? The answer is yes, because you got a payback immediately of the water and energy side. Now, the critical part of this, and you should be aware of this, is this is the only product that's ever been proven and tested by the U.S. Department of Energy. It's in a pumping system that saves both water and energy. Yeah. They spent over a quarter of a million dollars studying this. What they did wow. is they financed it, but it was studied through Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Right in the field, and by the way, in Palo Alto, oh, which was interesting. Right, right. Local. So, absolutely, because the water department here helped finance part of it. Sure. And they studied it for a year and a half, and they found out that they were saving between four to 10,000 gallons of water a year, depending on the house right. size. Right. And that represented between 1,000 to 3,000 kilowatt hours. Cost of operation, less than a dollar a year. Amazing. Now, we've been making this product since 1992. Mm. The products we made in 1992 and 93, still operating. Right. So the longevity of that, service-free, creates a tremendous advantage to you, the homeowner, that are gonna be buying these systems for a payback. Right. So you can average about $300 uh, or more a year when you put one of these in in savings. Right. That means that that's gonna be paid off in less than two years, okay? okay? From that point on, based on today's energy costs and water costs, that means you're going to make about five to seven thousand dollars in savings over a ten-year period. But those costs are going to go up. So the higher your costs go up, the more savings is going to go up. This is the only product that has received a certificate of recognition from the U.S. Department of Energy in the plumbing industry, and that's why we're here at this show. Excellent. Hey, I just wanted to clarify one thing: you do not need an existing research line to make this happen. That is correct. You do not need it because most of the people do not have recirc lines. Right. However, if you do have a recirc line and you do have a pump that's running, 
you definitely want to use this because we do it both ways. We do it with a circ or without a circ okay. line. Okay. We will save you even more money if you have a circulating line because you are cost it's costing you more money to operate those systems. Right. And people say, well, my pump doesn't cost much. It's not the pump. It's the heat loss. Uh. It'll cost somewhere between five to $600 a year to operate a recirculating system 24 hours a day. Why don't, you show us, uh, why don't you show us the application on the commercial side? On the commercial side, it's a little different issue. What happens on commercial buildings, like multifamily buildings of maybe 20 apartments, 50 apartments, 100 apartments, they all have circulating systems run 24-7. Right. That is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because nobody knows when they're going to use hot water. Right. And the studies that we've actually done if you've got a 50-unit apartment complex, the amount of hours out of 24 that people actually use hot water is less than three and a half hours. Okay. But now you've got a pump running 24. Why? Because you don't know when that three and a half hours is. We've developed an electronic control system that knows when you're using hot water. When you connect our control system and pumping system, it doesn't require any other type of activation, by the way. It, it operates on its own. It's got a memory system, so it knows when demand of hot water is there. So what happens is that that, that uh, pump will shut the pump run time down from 24 hours a day down to about an hour to hour and a half a day. Okay. But they have hot water 24 hours a day. Just for clarity's sake, this is not at the fixture application. No. You're doing it from the heat, uh, the boiler or the storage exactly. thing? Exactly. Okay. Because that's where all your your circulating systems are. This is for buildings that are currently operating 24-7 circulating systems. Costs are very high because your pump runs 24 hours a day. We will reduce the pump run time by 95% and it typically will reduce the boiler savings. It'll save about 14 to 16% on the boiler run time. So these systems and a commercial building actually pay for themselves in a year. Wow. Okay. And we do that again under the guidance of the Uniform Plumbing Codes and the ICC regulations. Awesome. So, yes. So let's uh, kind of recap that. Uh, for all of you that uh, are investors, you are uh, uh, landlords, you actually are saving more money uh, and you get a, a faster return on investment by doing a, a commercial application. But for those of you that want to do a retrofit over here on the uh, residential side, the only slight difference is that you're doing a fixture application. You can uh, use the re you can use it with the recirc line, uh, which is recirculation line, or you don't have to have one. It's still applicable, and uh, the return on investment's about two to three years. Is that right? It's not more than two to three years. The other thing that's really important that I didn't bring up, and I think you should know this, the key to making this product, and I'm the inventor of the product, was I wanted to make sure it was made in America. That was a very critical issue for me because that's a control factor. So virtually everything in this product, including the pump, which is Grunfuss, by the way, mm -hmm. is actually manufactured in California. We make all of our electronics and all of our activators in Southern California. Pumps are made in Fresno, California. Awesome. So, hey, here locally, um, everything's in-house. Got it. Awesome, Larry. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.